Um, we wanted to do this today because the bowls are in process, and the process is a big part of the construction and the architecture. Um, my, one of my main areas of interest is looking at traditional forms of construction, traditional forms of structural engineering, and applying those to contemporary architecture, contemporary computation in engineering, and seeing what we can come up with. Um, so I teach architecture at Cambridge University, but I teach structural engineering. So where design and engineering come together is one of my primary interests. And this is, uh, for me, this is as good as it gets. And I, I hope I can share some of that with you today. So as Julia said, we met at MIT when I was a student and I was studying uh, traditional Mediterranean Spanish tile vaulting, which is the sort of things that Gaudí used. Um, there was an architect named Rafael Guastavino who brought the technique to the United States in 1880 and ended up building over a thousand buildings in this country, many of which you will recognize, such as Grand Central Terminal in New York, parts of the Capitol in Washington, the Boston Public Library was his first major building. Um, for those of you who have an architecture background, pretty much anything built by McKim, Mead, and White with neoclassical curves and domes, he built it for them. Um, so he was, he was a builder for many of the major architects of the early 20th century. And this technique that we're using is a direct descendant of the way he worked. So there are three layers of masonry. The first layer is at the top. You can see at the top it's set in a white mortar. That's plaster of Paris. It's pure gypsum. And we do that because you can mix it to set in 10 or 20 seconds. And when it sets really quickly, you can just, you can put the tile in place, hold it for a few seconds and let go. And just move on. And what that means for construction is that you don't need to build formwork. Uh, we just have very simple guide work. You can see the, the triangles of wood coming out. That's, that's all we're using to develop the form. Um, and then the second and third layer are set in typical um, bricklayer's mortar. There's 20,000 pounds of it here, if anyone needs some. And all the bricklaying is being done by the BAC Local 3. Um, they're Yay! volunteering their time, which is really fabulous. And there's something else that we've done here. Because we're building in San Francisco, um, this is considered an unreinforced masonry structure, which is technically not allowed. Um, so we've, we've done two things. We're, we're reinforcing it um, with geotextile, which is the black material, usually used for road building. But in this case, it takes the place of steel. And I'll, I'll pass some around, because it's unusual. The, the edges are sharp. Um, and this gives, this gives the masonry some strength in the event that it cracks, um, and so we don't get brittle failure. It gives us safety, um, largely in the event of an earthquake, but also heavy winds. And the other thing that we've done here is that the entire structure is base isolated, which makes it really unusual in San Francisco. And Mark Sinclair from Degenkolb and Gordy Ray, who's over here, did the most of the seismic engineering for that. I'll let them talk about it, but I want to highlight that looking at the domes, you only see half the engineering here. The other half is underneath the plywood. We basically were, we reach back into history for the technique, for some of the structural analysis that gives us the form in the first place, but then we use very contemporary materials, the geotextile and this concrete, which if anyone wants, it's dusty but it's also incredibly light. It floats. This is concrete. And this lets, us, this lets us build quickly. It also means that the structure isn't too heavy for the platform that we have here. So is that both layer, all three layers of concrete that we're seeing, or tiles? Um, this far edge where it's about three feet high is all three layers. But I mean, the material you're using for all three layers? Yes.
Test is next Friday. We uh, have to set the time exactly. What's up? About midday. About midday. Will the architect